What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's been a f almost a month, I think, already um, since we last talked. What what did we do last time? Uh, motor mounts, I believe. Motor mounts, or what else did we do? Or tranny mount, one of the two. Um, since then, I did the trailing arm mounts and power steering lines, and then there's something else too. Um, kind of got the wiring ran to where I want it to, started on some of the wiring, and it yeah, so looking at a couple different universal radiators. Um, I think from the Eastwood company, that's who I'll go with. And then, um, I'll just get some flex, flexible radiator hosing from Napa. That's where I got the power steering line done at. Um, I'll get you guys turned around here. I'll let you see what I did with the power steering lines and the... Um, trailing arm mounts. Here are my uh, trailing arm mounts. You can see that the bushing isn't in there, but I got the plate in there to hold that bushing. Uh, the welds aren't pretty, but they'll work. Um, prop, if it looks a little lower than what most of you see, think or what you think it should be is because I put my spacer underneath the frame instead of on top. I put it underneath so I have a little bit more ground clearance. I mean I wanted the truck lower but not super low which what another inch and a quarter inch and a half wasn't gonna drop it too much but it doesn't seem like it would drop it that much but to me it was a little too much so here's the other side um, for the trailing arm mount looks a little bit better over here I kind of figured stuff out and kind of learned from the other side and then here's oh let me get you down in there somewhere here you can kind of see the that's the power steering line, or the power steering hole part right there. And then they run up and around up to the power steering pump, which is driven by the belt, obviously. Um, got the high pressure side, or at least what I think is the high pressure side, since the other side is just kind of hose clamp there. But what I did was I went to Napa in Long Prairie and then used, got a couple brackets that have compression fittings in there on, let's see if my light will stay here, maybe not. Um, and what I'm talking about with these compression fittings is there's a little tiny ring inside this piece. And this piece threads on to this piece that's or cinched onto the hose itself. I got two of them. They were like 12 bucks a piece. And then the hose was probably 10 bucks because the total came to be about $31, $33 after tax. So this is probably the only, if you're running the 5.0, this is probably the only part this is the only hose that you'll have to make. This other one you can take from just that hose and then hose clamp it to the part here because it's just like a carburetor fuel spigot. It's just kind of angled on the one side to have the let the uh, hose clamp grip to so your hose don't fall off. And then, yeah, 
So that's that. That's the... This is the other thing I've been working on, is getting the gas tank mounted, or the keg mounted. Uh, last time I tried, the drill wasn't drilling into the keg that easily. Um, is it right there? Right here. That's about all the further I got, and then I gave up because it wasn't doing anything else. But yeah, 16 gallon keg should be plenty big for me. And then, as you guys know, it, it'll sit right here behind the cab. My plans are to bring the original filler neck in through the back of the cab out to the keg itself. And then I'll probably have a, a steel, I'll um, have the filler neck come in. Oh, you guys can't see that. I'll have, I'll extend, maybe if I can get you guys in there. Oh, maybe not. I'll extend that piece out into here, make it a 90 into the back of the cab, and then have a rubber hose going through a grommet to the back cab wall to another, to an aluminum piece, you know, that's that long or whatever, another neck. So the rubber can go from the steel filler neck through the cab to the keg that'll sit here. So that's the other thing I've been working on is that over there. Like I said earlier, I was working on some of the wiring. I was going to maybe try and fire it up. Maybe not anymore tonight, but maybe tomorrow if I get ambitious and find some some right wiring because negative side was I think like 12 gauge or 10 gauge which I got 10 gauge and it was too small but I made it work because I don't think the negative side matters so much as the positive side it's a little bit bigger I think it's like an 8 gauge wire 6 gauge was too big 10 gauge was way too small so I'm thinking 8 gauge. <laughs> um, I'll get you guys spun around here again. As you can see on the negative side, it's a little bit bigger than what wire I got. I got it kind of in back there already. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the best. But... And then the positive sides, the positive side is even bigger than what the original negative side was. So. I'm guessing it's like an 8 gauge wire and then all, all I need to do is cut this, get a new eyelet, which I do down there, and just crimp it together with a butt connector, wrap it in tape, and get it over back here to the solenoid that you can't see. But yeah, maybe I'll try and kind of jerry-rig something together to maybe... It, spins over I've I've touched both these together and it does spin over I didn't want to spin it over too much cuz I didn't want something burning out cuz I know the power steering pump is dry but really that's the only other thing that it's dry cuz it has oil in it so that's that's what I've been working on maybe we'll get it started up I don't know yet so there, I think this is where I'll end this video. It's already probably eight minutes long, 10 minutes long. So just kind of an update video, catch up video for you guys of what I've been doing to the monster. She, she'll be ready for spring driving, I think. And that's actually coming up pretty quick. But yeah, this is, that's, this is where I'll end this video. Um, maybe I'll make two this weekend since I've been kind of lazy about <clears throat> getting a video out. It's just been way too cold to video, tape, or record anything because it's been like 10 degrees, negative 8 degrees every day I've been out here. So, yeah, it's been way too cold for an iPhone. So, if you like the video, like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. <laughs>
somebody truck in a farmer's field a no trespass sign a time to kill nobody's gonna get hurt so what's the big deal